Welcome to BCH Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to set up this printer to print as much as those super expensive uh, Canon printers. First thing to do is unpacking and add some paper. And lastly, we need to get uh, the ink system ready. The ink system is really simple. You just open it up. Okay. Before I get too much ink, so see if you get this too low, the ink will come here. So when you remove the plug, when you remove this plug, ink will come out. So the best way is actually do not just put it on the floor all the way. What you're gonna do is I have this nice holder. So so when I open it, I rest on this one, and you can see. You can see there's no ink here, so I cannot remove the plug. And then you just close it. That's all you need to do. Let's jump in ahead of time. So when you when you use up the ink, you will need to add ink. So you just open it. It's the same thing. You rest your thing on this, and this will be perfect level. So you just remove the remove this refill. Review hole, just add ink to it. Uh, because most people know how to set up the printer with a USB cable, and uh, we're going to just put a how to set it up at the end of this video. Um, so, uh, I need to talk a little bit more about uh, uh, the ink levels. There are two ink levels one ink level is actual ink level, and this is actual ink level, which it's totally, I mean, there it is about a third, about a 20, 30 times more, more, uh, more than what you need. So, but the printer has an ink monitor. It doesn't know you have this big tank. So the printer's ink level monitor going to run from full to empty as you print. So no matter what you do, you have to let that ink monitor go empty. I'm talking about the printer's ink monitor. So let me print enough pages so the printer's ink monitor is going to turn it itself off. When you turn off, it's going to give you an error and ask you to turn it off. Okay, and there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do to make it full. You have to run it to empty then, and, and then turn it off. And uh, here you can see this is the the printer's ink monitor, and uh, I already think the black is about eighty percent, but actually the black you can say black is totally full. So what we're going to do is just we just going to let this to uh, let this cartridge to let this ink monitor to completely run to the empty, and uh, we're going to turn it off. Another thing, uh, another thing I want to show you is uh, those two lights. Those two lights are going to light up steady yellow when you only have a twenty percent of about. 20, I think it has twenty percent of ink left in the printer. And then when you turn it off, it's going to have a flashing yellow. So now I will just let the printer run and uh, print the five hundred pages. Okay, we can see the we can see see the ink level. Uh, um, okay, we can see the ink level monitor on the computer is really low. Uh, this is actual ink level. So this is what the printer think the ink level is. And when it's below twenty percent, you can see the uh, uh, the hazard light, not the hazard light, the 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 ink indicator light is uh, permanent, permanently uh, yellow or, or called amber. So the printer, the printer's ink monitor will be reset pretty soon. I just keep printing until, uh, until it reaches that point.
So finally, uh, the printer thinks the ink is run, runs out. So it give you this error. And uh, the support code is 1688. What we, don't, what we want to do is uh, do not close this window. So come here, and you can see the black cartridge is flashing. <clears throat> so what you do is uh, you just hold the stop button for at least five seconds. And then you'll hear a click. So the printer is back to working. And what you can see here is we reset the black cartridge. So the black cartridge doesn't have a dust exclamation mark anymore. So that, that means the ink monitor is turned off. So the black cartridge can work forever from now. And, and we're gonna do one more time for the color cartridge. Again, you cannot force the printer to turn the monitor off, ink monitor off. You have to wait until you, you print plenty of pages. Then you see that the error window pops up, then you can do it. After you've done it, you can print forever with that, with that cartridge. So right now we just keep printing until uh, until we get uh, the color cartridge ready to reset. And uh, here you can see the color cartridge is still uh, steady yellow, and the black because we turned it off is blinking. Uh, we can keep printing until the ink reach the critical level, which is uh, which is right here. And uh, so when we add ink, um, we want to have something to, to hold the, the position. So we put a white, uh, this white block run right here. And uh, you can see it. So what we want is we want this be leveled, okay, with a table. And uh, and then we just gently remove the refill plug. And then we just pour the ink in. And then we use a paper towel to wipe out the excessive ink. And then we put a refill plug back. And uh, gently push the tanks back. So here's when the the color ink runs out. It's, uh, it looks similar to the black ink runs out. Again, we do not close this window, just keep it open. And uh, we go back here, and you can see the color, the color is flashing, we just hold for five seconds. And uh, you're gonna see the window disappear, and uh, you're ready to print again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned if you don't know how to set up your printer with a USB cable. A Canon showed you how to set it up for wireless connection and how to install. Actually, 90% uh, of the problem uh, they have is the user cannot follow their complicated uh, procedures. And so what we do is uh, we included a US, USB cable, so make, the, make, it, make the installation much easier. So what, we're going to plug the USB cable into the, uh, into the computer and uh, 
and make uh, this installation much, much easier. Another thing is uh, we do not have a CD drive. Um, most people right now, their laptop doesn't have a, uh, they have a CD drive. So what, what we're going to do is we go to the kind of website, which we're going to post in the comments below. So you can click and go to the real Canon site. Well, I'm going to search Canon TS3122. And you can see the first one is actually Canon. Okay. Yeah, it is this printer. So we're going to go to drivers and download. Then we're going to download a full driver with the software. Okay, download is complete. So we can double click. And uh, run. And now we can start set up. Okay, it really took a while. So uh, here it is, United States. Agree? Yes, agree. So the firewall, of course, you want to deactivate the lock block. Uh, so we plug the power on, and so here we choose the wireless connection, and they asked us to turn the power on. So we connected the US cable, USB cable, and then we turn on the power. And then we click next. Uh, so <clears throat> this printer actually is another printer I set up earlier. So uh, so this is not a, this printer that we want to set it up. What you should see is that there's no printer here. So you want to set up the network connection according to the guide and do your you do next. And it's going to open up this web website. And uh, just ignore that website and go back to your installation guide. And uh, then what you want to do is click alternative method. And then you select a setup wireless connection using a USB cable. Go next. And then I'll tell you the connection completed. Uh, it will ask you to uh, print head alignment. Normally, I just skip this uh, step. It's really, really not really necessary. And uh, you can start to a uh, test print. One is I uh, show you how to print uh, from smartphone, and uh, you can click instructions, and they will bring to your website, and uh, show show you how to do it. And uh, printer registration, and uh, I'll skip, but you can register your printer here. And uh, finish. So after you finish, <coughs> you're gonna have uh, this getting more. We just show you how to print from cloud, and uh, how to print from Google Cloud, and AirPrint, which you can see is even print from iPhone, iPad. And again, if you have uh, any question, any problem with uh, those functions, please contact uh, Canon instead of BCH because it's not an ink related issue.